it is friction. When two bodies are kept in contact, electromagnetic forces act between the charged particles at the surfaces of the bodies. Thus, each body exerts a contact force on the other. The magnitudes of the contact forces acting on the two bodies are equal, but their directions are opposite and therefore the contact forces obey Newton's third law. Here, we are taking two blocks in contact. When we are trying to move the upper block, the static friction starts acting. The static friction tries to oppose the relative motion between the two blocks. Types of friction There are two types of friction, namely static friction and dynamic friction. Firstly, static friction. When we try to move an object and the friction which appears there due to the tendency of the object to move is known as static friction. Dynamic friction exists between two contact surfaces only when there is relative motion between the two contact surfaces. It stops acting when relative motion between two surfaces ceases. Angle of repose is the minimum angle of inclination of the inclined plane for which the body slides down the inclined plane. Here, in first part, the book doesn't slip because here mu is equal to tan theta. But in second part, the book slips because here mu is less than tan theta. When we move ahead, we push the floor back and friction helps us in moving ahead. But in absence of friction, we would slip and won't be able to move ahead. And even if we could start our motion somehow, we could not stop ourselves, resulting a painful bang. Bang bang. If a person A hits a person B, the person B doesn't fly away due to the friction in the legs and the ground. But if there is no friction, the person B had been flown away. <laughs>